Hey guys, it's Cord Ross and Bourbon 6 News. So in this video, we're looking at the year nine status update for anti-cheat in Rainbow Six Siege. And this video is specifically looking at the anti-cheat on console. I've already got a separate video out for the PC anti-cheat update. So if you wanna go check that out, you can. So let's jump into the console side of things. And of course, when it comes to the console anti-cheat, there's no battle eye or anything like that. That is all done by Ubisoft's in-house creation, which is Mousetrap. And this was introduced last year. And I said at the time when it was coming out, I did not think they'd ever make an anti-cheat for a console. So I was amazed that they did. And I was going to be very happy if it even had a couple of months of success before someone got around it or anything like that. And I also expect this was a rather expensive endeavor. Like you would have had some of the top end engineers working on it and it took years to make. So I, this was not cheap in any way. But then in this blog post, we have a section going over mousetrap and workarounds, effectiveness, mousetrap updates. So this is brilliant. And I feel like this is kind of actually a, a great response to my video I did a while ago where I just went over a kind of a review of mousetrap and how I was feeling like it was. And they seem to have hit on everything I brought up in that video. So I'm really curious about reading this. So we'll start with workarounds. So they say in year eight, we fixed a number of workarounds that were enabling spoofers to avoid or reduce their chances of detection. Though we are aware that some players are still able to avoid the full effects of our system, we are working hard to counter these remaining workarounds and we are confident that you'll see further reductions in spoofing soon. Now, I've always said that the biggest kind of potential failure for something like Mousetrap is how quickly it can iterate. And it still feels like it's iterating far too slowly to be a good anti-cheat but they do talk about its effectiveness. So Mousetrap continues to find, track, and penalize players who use mouse and keyboard on a console through the use of spoofing devices and has remained active and effective throughout year eight. The usage of spoofing devices, which saw a drop in the release of Mousetrap has continued to trend as this lower rate since release. Now I do wonder, is that less people using mouse and keyboard on console or is it people who have got better at hiding it? Because of course, before the anti-cheat was introduced and switched on, not a single player was attempting to avoid detection. Whereas after that, presumably people are now attempting to avoid detection, which might result in people just not showing up as having mouse and keyboard in, but still playing with it. However, maybe in a less effective way. And apparently they do say that our data also shows that players do swap to controller if viable mouse trap workarounds are not available making it a better experience for everyone. Now I should mention that I play on Xbox, that's my primary platform for playing Siege. That has switched a bit, I used to always be Xbox at the start of uh, my time with Siege for many years, then it switched to PC. Uh, I was play even still playing it with a controller uh, on PC, and then I went back to Xbox. Now the reason for that is I think three different things. So the next gen update for the consoles that came out a long time ago, then cross progression, then mousetrap. So I have been playing on Xbox my you know predominantly for over the last year and my personal experience is that the cheating was obvious before mousetrap then it definitely reduced significantly when that first like month or two of mousetrap being out then it felt like it really popped back up again and of course that's just from the experience of one person and I feel like overall that the experience is a little bit better now than when mousetrap didn't exist but I don't feel like it's a night and day difference. And even though there might well be a lot less cheaters out there, I do think there's still a significant amount and that's unfortunate. Now, another section here is Mousetrap updates. And this actually brings up stuff that I talked about in my video about Mousetrap and I was hoping one day they'd introduce, which is actually identifying other type of spoofing devices. So this could be like macros and stuff or special controllers that can reduce your recoil, things like that and they do appear to be going after that however they do say this is something that's going to happen like in year nine so this is not coming anytime soon again this is back to the iterations of this system just being too slow far too slow and it's real pity and of course it's a huge uh, engineering thing to build this and update it but it is annoying that you can't have obviously have an update every month with this kind of system but they are looking to expand now we've seen other developers like Call of Duty has got its own little anti-cheat for a uh, console which detects adapters and it also does go after like recoil reduction devices and stuff like that as well. So 
my hope here is that yeah this mousetrap update at least they are still working on mousetrap at least they are still updating it and this is good but the last paragraph here is really good to read so it says as well as this we are currently implementing additional in-game warning feedback for detected players and are developing an additional mousetrap feature which will help to further level out the playing field this feature will have a further positive impact on the match to match experience of console players and we'll share more information about this important update during the six invitational so we are getting probably the announcement of a mousetrap update with a new feature at the six invitational i don't expect it'll probably launch straight away but great to be getting an actual update at the six invitational and fingers crossed that it ends up being really really good now of course there's no mention here about banning players i expect they're still having issues of sometimes picking up legit players which we have seen i've had a lot less of it recently though so maybe they'd be getting a bit better with the detection methods but i would love even some softer stuff like let's say you get caught using mouse and keyboard a few times then your rank is just reset you know take away that visual rank put it back down to the bottom again and take away you know rewards for previous rank seasons and things like that but there is nothing about that the penalization here is just that you get more latency still that's the only thing and nothing else seems to be getting impacted at all now let's kind of move into more of a conclusion on this so great to actually get some more updates these are really good updates good communication i think that it's good that mousetrap is still getting iterated on and still improving and still going to have more features and hopefully detect more stuff in the future which is brilliant and fingers crossed that these updates and iterations do come quite quickly and maybe in time they can get faster and faster at it now i do worry of course that ai cheating will be coming next and i would not be surprised if there's going to be dongles in the future that have ai integration that can watch your monitor and your inputs and help you like aim and stuff like that and i think that's all gonna be coming in the next five or ten years probably five years to be honest but that's my big worry and this feels like it's you know might be a solution for something that will eventually go away and be replaced by something superior when it comes to the cheats on consoles but i'm hoping i'm just my usual pessimistic self and that these issues will not appear or take even longer to get here so fingers crossed and i would love to know your comments below about mousetrap how it has been on console if you've noticed a difference in the last year and we'll see if uh, year two of mousetrap ends up being a better year for it and yeah maybe it really is doing a lot more than i think it is and i'm just not quite seeing it as clearly but i definitely think it has improved since it's you know the peaks of cheating and definitely it has helped but I think the argument is how much it's helped. Has it been a small amount or a big amount? I'd love to know your opinions in the comments below. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.